Hello everyone, Michael here and welcome back to um, part three of my vlog at the Calvert Marine Museum. Um, and today we're gonna be covering all the other stuff that we didn't cover in the last other two videos. And also, we came here on a lucky day because today is the festival here at the Calvert Marine Museum. So they reopened everything, including the lighthouse and the boat. So um, if everything goes to plan, we will be riding on the boat today, which will, which will be really cool. And yeah, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a mask, and um, there's um, a lot of people here, so you have to wear masks everywhere. But without further ado, let's head right in. So we are now inside, and the first thing I'm I saw I'm gonna get a meal in my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna catch him and hold him. Crab. And a crab. So that was interesting. <laughs> we just held a crab. Um, there was some eels in there that you could hold, but I didn't bother. So now we're on to over here. We're gonna go take a look at these boats first, I think. And yeah. So right here we have a couple of canoes. Um, I think it's called Old Town 25 Foot Camp Canoes. So that's what these are. I really like the color too. Over there we got, over there we got the penguin, the penguin. <laughs> this is very funny, um, but um, don't really see why they called it penguin though. Right here we have a yawl boat, and there you can see its um, engine. Oh, very interesting engine. And um, here is. Um, I don't really know what this is, really. And over, and over here we have a crab skiff. Well, oh, that is a long mast up there. That is a very long mast. And, huh, this thing doesn't have a motor. It must be quite old. Well, at least it has a rudder, so. Anyways, um, they've got a few stairs here so we can go up these steps and here we have a a birth gum something so it looks like a basic conveyor belt for shells or rocks all those kind of gave it away really it's not too hard and um I don't really know what this is. Is I don't really know what this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be the motor, but then again, I'm not a conveyor belt expert. And here you can see the back of the penguin as a crab trap. All right, or is that an oyster farm? Hard to tell. You know how an oyster farm looks like if you go check out my other videos. Anyways, let's head down. And right here we things start to get interesting and old so here we have a pre-colonial dugout canoe so it was made by pre-colonial uh, probably native americans because they were the ones that specialize in these kind of boats really but now they're just history and here we have a two log canoe. So it was made out of two logs, which kind of makes sense because considering with the shape at all, it had to be made out of two logs. Um, here we have, ooh, we have a spider web. Yeah, good thing I don't have arachnophobia. Um, it was not really a spider. And yeah, I'm not really sure what this one is called really. Yeah, I don't know what that one's called. And this boat is John A. Ryder. So John is a writer, basically, if you break it down. And yeah, that pretty much covers it for this place. We have one more boat to show. Right here, we have a pedal craft, and it's number 39. And I'm not really sure what it was used for, but my guess is it's kind of like a catamaran. And right here, we have a bell that you can ring. So yeah, 
you can ring the bell and that's pretty much it for the bell. And now we're gonna go into the lighthouse, but there is a line so it might take a little bit of time. So I'll just cut it until then. There, you see they have a limit on people here. So there's the entrance. We're gonna go up there. Wish me luck. All right, we're going up. We're going up. Okay. Okay, I gotta be careful here, guys. Okay. There's a little thing here. Okay. Just. Okay. Just a few more steps. And we made it up, guys. And whoo, this place was fancy. So here we have probably the what, what was the main dining room. There we have some coal, probably for the flyer place. There we have some knitted Oreos and chocolate chip cookies. And some decorational shells. Ooh, and an old light bulb. And another sewing machine right there. So here's the furnace, probably what all that coal is for. And over here, ooh, we've got an old original phone. So yeah, we can speak, speak here, I think, and receive the message through there. And you know when someone's um, ringing you and this, well, rings. And here we got some silverware and um, a weight with a bunch of chain. Not really sure what that's used for. Um, here looks like a sun battery, so panel diode and a light, probably that was reused to um, to replace the old light, probably. And here we have a bedroom. And I don't even know what that is. Thinking that's a mirror. And another one of those old light bulbs. And a picture of whoever that is. Here we have a model bolt. And a little baby bed with a doll in it. Not a real baby. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't put a real baby in there. It would be torture for the baby. Now we have a hat there and another one of those old light bulbs and here we have probably the kitchen there we've got so i'm not really sure what that is i'm guessing that's like a little music box thing that you turn here's the kitchen with the um with the stoves and everything the cupcake thing and a little kettle to make either boiled water or tea. And yeah, that's where you put all your baked goods. I'm pretty sure. Mm. I mean, then again, I don't even know how to use these stoves. I only know how to use modern, modern stoves. And I don't really know what that is. And here we have another light bulb, probably not like the one that we've seen back there. Oh, there we got some produce and oh we've got Hershey's breakfast cocoa didn't know they had Hershey's back then yeah. apparently Hershey's is a lot older than I thought it was here we have a random bottle not really sure what that's for and I think that pretty much covers this floor now we're gonna head up the super cool I spiral staircase we got a little um electric thing there and going up there we go we're now on the second floor random corner another one of those original light bulbs uh, before thomas edison and there we have the bell the fog horn or the fog bell and here is the mechanism to ring that bell you could actually um before COVID and stuff you could actually ring that bell by pressing a button right here, but they removed that for some reason. I don't know why. And over here, we have a little chest here. 
And here we have another bedroom. So this is nice. Okay, this is very, very nice. Another chest there, another corner, a little chair there, a book, and another one of those original light bulbs. And um, I would show you the uh, um, third floor, but it says it's temporarily closed for repairs. But that's fine, right? I'll probably make a short about going up there later on. But oh, also I forgot to mention, speaking of shorts, um, I actually just created a second channel. It's called Michael Quinn Lego Shorts. And I've already posted like six videos on there. And you should go check it out. I have some really cool posts on there so far. I'll be uploading every single day there. So you don't want to miss out on any shorts. Anyways, and there's one thing I forgot to show you guys here on the first floor. And it is the balcony area right here. So we open this and we're instantly on the balcony. So we're gonna go towards here and we have a bathroom. They closed that up. So this is kind of like a floating outhouse guessing the, the, you know, will fall out into the ocean because they actually transported this from Drum Point to here, in case you're running. This is Drum Point Lighthouse. So yeah, um, let's see, oh, this one's closed, but it used to be open though. Here we have, I think where a crane used to be, probably for retrieving supplies or something and a random metal thing and now we're back to where we started huh. also you get a great view from up here <laughs> yeah. you can see absolutely everything here including the docks so here we have a random trap door which leads straight down um, there's actually a ladder there, which leads straight down to some kind of platform. But, our tour of the lighthouse must come to an end, sadly. And we must go down, down the ladder. So, we're gonna... Alright, we don't really know what best way to do this with a tripod and everything. This is very, very challenging, guys. Okay, so... Okay. So, I'm going to hold this. I'm going down. Going down. Okay. Very good, guys. Stop. Okay. You can stop it. So, yeah, we... So that was the lighthouse for you. And now I gotta carefully head down the steps. And my mom has been telling me about a boat building station there. Um, uh, we're gonna go check that out right after I get some hand sanitizer. So here's the boat building station. Here's my sister. And now we're gonna build it. But I think we're gonna do a time lapse. Too long. Call me up in the midnight, I will play the ping pong Private jet take me to that private party in Hong Kong Young ladies they all around me, yeah, like just like Don Wong Ain't no nothing that a shit can bother me on this ground Ay, Bang it hard and back, yard don't make you be a movie star Growing old the bank car, cause I, I'm getting new black car Hundred million cash, nah, I got billions Ay, Faster than a flash, Ay, quick silver, those Turkey Hosker, kind of clockwise. They say, homie, gonna be flexing. I say, nah, nah, ay, ay, ay. I say, nah, nah. They say, homie, gonna be flexing. I say, nah, nah, ay, ay, ay. I say, nah, nah. They say, homie, gonna be flexing. I say, nah, nah, ay. Oh, shoot. Made 
made it, made it, brownie coffee branded. I am so hot like summers, call me 130 degrees. I am so hot like I just swallowed tons of flavor spices. I try to stuff myself, but God told me don't cause any crisis. Why would never be enough? Yeah, have a good time, and back and show me love. They don't turn doom day after world will come, but in fact, I really won't. Hey, I don't wanna live in LA, really need to go home real quick. So guys, here's the boat that I managed to create. It's pretty cool. But now things are gonna get even better with a real awesome. boat ride. So the boat is right there and also my sister wants to show up her boat. So here's my sister's boat. It's pretty cool, but now we're gonna go onto the real thing, the real boat. All right, we're going to the boat. Come on, Mike. All right. This is so amazing. We're going on this boat. The WB Tennyson. So this boat is three, 130 oh, yeah. years old. Yeah. And uh, yeah, oh, there's a jellyfish right there. Oh, make the two jellyfish. All right, we're going on to the boat, guys. All right, we're on the boat. And yeah. Right here. So, so this is where we're going to sit. All right, so we're right now on the boat. Uh, Alright, we're ready to cast off. In a few seconds, we'll be out on the open protected river. We're casting off. We're moving, guys. You can see the things moving. We're moving. So, yeah. We're seriously speeding up now. Okay. We're like going really fast now. And there we have a couple of houses and other various buildings passing by. A little boat called the principal's office. A little buoy, a little teal buoy, buoy over there. And a couple of trees. A little for bolts I'm guessing. And um, over there it looks like we have a few hydraulic cranes so I can just yeah right there. A few hydraulic cranes there. So I went out here to get a better view and a better view is what we're gonna get. So we'll just do that. And yeah. So out over there in that direction is the Patuxent. Here we have a lot of docks and piers for a bunch of boats, private boats and boats with services that I don't even know the names of. And oh no, I'm getting, oh no, there's a stick in the water. We're gonna hit the stick, guys. We hit the stick. It's okay, a little stick. It has no match against this thing. Against this behemoth. So, yeah. There you see a boat turning out of the way for us to go. And, ooh, there is a nice looking boat over there. If I can just zoom into that one. Yeah, a nice little blue one with some sprinkles of yellow. Really like that design. And there you can see the same boat over there and yeah i'll come back to you guys if i see something interesting so yeah over there we have a little beach there i i'm guessing that's a private beach to that house over there that that one right there where my finger is and we have a little post right near it with the number five on it there we have a Cool looking yacht and over there you, as you can see in the distance see that patch of trees over there that is mole leg island now it is a very interesting island because legend says that a pirate's grandmother actually buried treasure over there now it's a really a bird sanctuary so people aren't really allowed on it but there's set to be treasure there. 
Now we're coming up on the statue of a person that I forgot the name of. If you really squint your eyes over there, you can see just barely a, the statue of a, a man. I think he's from the military, probably. Also a band of people over there. And a little tent thing. There we have a nice little crane. And over there, we have a naval ship that I'm guessing could possibly be a mini destroyer ship. Um, I'm not saying that it is, I'm just guessing that it might be. And boy, it is hot out here. Okay, that's a bit better. Whew, so hot out here. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm in a jacket. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that off now. And anyways, you see a boat over there looks similar to our boat. And yeah, over there we have a dry dock and some more docks and piers. And oh, over there we have a very interesting and very old crane, uh, or very old design of crane at the least. Um, I don't really know if you can see it. Oh, now the boat's blocked it. Oh no, you can kind of see it now. I'm gonna zoom out now. But anyways, so we're really coming up on Burr, on Moleg Island, the one with the treasure. And as you can see, it is indeed a sanctuary for birds. There's nothing but birds living on there. And there, for some reason, we have a number six. I don't really know why though. Over there, we have another crane and, oh, sorry, zoom out and the tiki bar oh and over there we have a tiny little bridge over there on moleg island and there you can see a glimpse of the bridge that we always use to come here it's one of two ways to get here so yeah and i don't really know where we're going um i think we're about to crash into the land now we're going over in that direction. Oh, I think we're turning around. <laughs> there you can see that old crane there a little bit better. There you go. And there we got a bunch of restaurants right here. There we go, that's better for all of you. Now we're heading out onto the open there if you really look closely um there are some kayakers right there if i can just get the camera yeah there we go you can see some kayaks in the distance I think I can get the camera angle on this road. The camera will fall in the water. And I don't want to get another camera really because this is a thousand dollar camera. And here are the kayakers. And over there, we have a building that I'm not really sure what it is, but kind of looks like a warehouse or something. Possibly. Oh, and up there we have a giant pole sticking up. Kind of looks like Siren Head just with one siren huh. very intriguing so place the camera back down zoom out Of the naval base a naval base right there with a tower there that's how you tell it it's a naval base more or less you can kind of tell it's a naval base or you could just have someone tell it either way not getting really windy yet i don't know where we're going i thought we were just turning around but uh, are we going back
was a fun boat trip. So we're getting off. All right. Whew, feels so different now that it, oh my legs feel so weird. Whew. But I'll probably also wait a couple of minutes to get my land legs back and just shake it off a bit. Yeah. But I hope you learned something new from that all from uh, from that great boat trip. And that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. So I think it's okay if I take my mask off for just for a little bit here. So whew, feels so good to breathe again with this thing off. But yeah, I think that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, also hit the bell and, and post notifications on. Um, also, if you think that I should do a review on my my little handmade boat that I showed you just before the boat trip. Uh, please let me know by getting this video up to 10 views. And yeah, I'll see you all guys next time.